Um, when I grew up, my father, uh, I have eight brothers and sisters. And um, uh, there's nine of us and five of us make our living doing art and things like that. Uh, the first thing you learn in our household, and I brought this to show you, is uh, we are all on location drawers and painters. And we also make, um, uh, I have a sister who does sculptures. My wife sculpt does sculpture. Uh, my son does welding. Uh, other brothers, photographers. Uh, Painters and drawers. Uh, my brother Huey, he makes his whole living just carving pumpkins. He does such a nice pumpkin, he can make a whole living out of it. First thing you learn in our household is... Uh, uh, don't go rolling off on me here. There you go. Here, here you, go. you made me come over here, so... Um, my father would sharpen about uh, three dozen pencils when he was doing a drawing. And um, he would uh, use this razor blade, and with the pencil like this, you learn this as a kid around the house, is you'd put a point on that pencil, and you do about three dozen of them. And as you walked up to your subject matter, you would have three dozen pencils, you have a needed eraser, if they're paying you a lot of money, you bring an eraser. And stuff. But if they're paying you nothing, you just go with your sharp pencil and you sit down on location with a drawing, which you see around here, the ones of the Pope in the Pope Mobile over there. That's about, for my father, it was probably about a 15, 20 minute uh, drawing. As the, as the Pope went by, he would do the drawing right on location. Uh, at at uh, Auschwitz, he would sit there, probably work on that drawing about an hour and a half take photographs and then come home and, and paint. A lot of these drawings and paintings showed up in the Saturday Evening Post. And what he was doing is he was telling stories and drawings, which is a different, it's a different game than just sitting down and, and becoming a tech, uh, technical painter. What you're trying to do is you're trying to communicate an idea. And I'm, I'm lucky enough to try and do that every day in my work also. And I, learning from dad, when I, I remember one time I came home and I walked in the door and next to the door was a suitcase and uh, dad was about 70 and I said to mom, I said, what, what's with the suitcase at the door? And he said, oh, your dad's got an idea. He's heading for the airport. And it was probably a civil rights uh, subject, could have been a sports subject. He did the Acapulco Yacht Race for like Sports Illustrated. He did goose hunting in Cairo, Illinois for Sports Illustrated. He was assigned to Apollo, Gemini, and Saturn missions for NASA. He also traveled with all the presidents of the United States when they ran for election. And all, whenever a pope hit the road, he went off with them on that. And then from the Vatican Consul, it came to the, um, um, from the Vatican Consul, the Civil Rights Movement came, and he did the drawings for Life magazine of the Emmett Till trials in 1955 in Sumner, Mississippi. That led up to the Civil Rights Movement on that side, and then the Vatican Council, the nuns and the priests all hit the streets in Selma and were um, uh, stopped at the bridge by the sheriff there and stuff. So what he was always doing is he was pursuing subject matters, which is what we were all doing. Uh, as people, he was interested in the different events. So what you see here is a lot of his uh, travels with the folks, and uh, they're pretty good. Uh, we've had a lot of them around. When he passed away, each of my brothers and sisters, we got a thousand pieces of work and stuff. And uh, some of these are uh, those pieces. So uh, that's what I have to say.